Hey, this is Eric from Cafe Watercolor, and welcome back to our coffee talk. So, welcome to my new YouTube space, and by that I mean my new backdrop back there. So, I finally got a new backdrop, and I'm able to put that on so that I can block out all of the messes that I have behind that backdrop, which is again my sofa and bunch of. Boxes and stuff. So hopefully this looks a lot better, a lot cleaner, and a lot brighter as well. So you don't wonder why it's so dark back there. What happened to there? So hopefully this is a good solution right now. I don't have a nice looking fancy space for filming. So hopefully this, hopefully this will do. And I know it's been a while since I made my last video, which is my three-part Victoria trip video, and. It's been probably two weeks since that trip, so I actually have been very, very busy for the past two to three weeks. I'm not busy on making video because I'm doing a lot of backend work for my business for my watercolor. So that includes some email series, and I'm making new contents for my online course. And I'm also trying to learn very hard on how to market myself out there on the internet because I want to reach out to more people with my art. And since we're talking about that, I just want to say being an artist is not easy. It's so difficult. It's really hard. And throughout the past two to three weeks, there's more than one occasions that I have not exactly a meltdown, but I'm just kind of feeling a little bit depressed, and I'm feeling a little bit just like, ah,、oh, yeah, I'm just feeling sad, and like, why this is so difficult for people to notice what you do? Now, I admit, first of all, my works are not amazing. I consider my work decent. But they are not amazing. They are not like master level amazing that you're gonna see it, and you want to seek out who this person is, and you just want to follow him on Instagram, follow him everywhere. And if he has a show, you're gonna buy an airplane ticket and go see his show. Okay, I'm I'm not that kind of artist. I fully aware of that. I'm still working on my painting skill. I want to improve my painting skill. Don't get me wrong. But I know that I am not at that level. But at the same time, I'm wondering: Do I have to be at that level to start serving more people? Do I have to be at that level to actually do paintings for people, for people to buy my painting, for people to hire me to do commission work? And that's obviously not the case because I've been getting commission work here and there, not like super busy book. Every month till the end of the year, type of you know consistency. But I do get commission work, and all the commission work I have done are for people who not necessarily interested in learning watercolor, but they just need some commission work done for them. And the experience has been awesome. I've been sharing it in one of my previous video that I really enjoy doing commission work with them. And I just feel like that I can still serve people with the level that I'm at right now. So I'm trying really hard to reach out to more people like that, whom I can serve and who I can really just bring some value to them. But again, it's not easy. It's not easy by any stretch of the imagination. I'm still trying to figure this out. So I'm not going to share with any sort of business tip because I am just I'm still on my way, and I don't consider myself a successful artist until I can have a very consistent and predictable income, and I have a specific way to approach this. So I'm not going to share a lot of about my art business thingy. But I just want to share with you that this is not easy, and I am a work in progress. My art business is a work in progress. So, which is why once in a while I'm going to share what I can offer on this YouTube channel because this YouTube channel is probably my biggest social media platform right now. I don't have hundred thousand million followers on Instagram and Facebook, and my audience is this is as big as it gets on YouTube right now. Twenty nine thousand subscriber. At this point, which is a lot of people, don't get me wrong, and I appreciate each and every single one of you who subscribe to my channel. But again, I want to reach out to more people with my art, and I want people to be aware of what I offer as an artist. So once in a while, I'm going to share what I offer here, and if you think that's valuable for you. 
feel free to contact me feel free to reach out to me so if that's not who you are if you're not interested in getting art you're just interested in learning watercolor that's totally fine and i do have a lot of people who subscribe to my email list are just interested in learning watercolor and that's totally great and that's the reason i putting together a course because there are so many questions that people have been asking me and to reply them individually or even help them individually is just not sustainable and scalable for me because i don't do this full time so that's why i put together a course so hopefully that can answer most of the question that majority of the people have and again watercolor essential is a course that help you from start to finish from start to build up your drawing skill and then start to build your basic watercolor knowledge to something a little bit more advanced like composition visual language and things like that and that got some full length painting demos that is not cut that is not fast forward but but it's there for you to see from start to finish so this is the only course that i have right now and i believe that course covers a lot of grounds so if you're interested definitely check it out here down below so all that being said being a watercolor artist is not my full-time job i have a wife and three kids so i do need a stable job to bring me consistent income to pay the bill and fit the family so right now my watercolor business is still in the very early stage so i don't think it's sustainable for me and for my family that i do this full time which is why i don't have that consistency on putting out youtube videos i try my very best to do youtube video every single week so which is why i take a pause on my youtube channel for about two weeks because i need to work on some really important stuff for my business for it in order for it to build and for in order for it to grow and i know taking pause on uploading video is really bad as a youtuber that you should be consistently putting out youtube video every single week and some youtuber putting out daily videos but that's just not sustainable for me i'm not able to do that with my day job with my family there's no way i can put out daily video and sometimes it's not even really possible for me to do weekly video i try to do the best i can any type of this coffee talk video i do a lot of editing because i stutter a lot and sometimes i not able to articulate myself that well and i say things wrong and i misspoke or something and i just kind of get stuck so that happens a lot and which is why i need to do editing afterwards so it takes a lot of time for me to even put out a simple video like this anyway so that being said that's it for this week's coffee talk i'm going to put out more painting videos i'm actually going to put out a drawing video that i'm going to talk about the importance of fundamental so hopefully i can have that out very soon thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day and see you guys later cheers